Hey there guys, Zach here from Winbazer and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10158. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10130. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are with Edge. If we launch Edge here, you can see that Edge is actually branded Edge as Edge now. It's no longer called Project Spartan. In this build, it is Microsoft Edge. So up here in the address bar and tabs area, you can see there's a new dark mode. And this dark mode can be edited via the settings area within the app. So you can see up here, choose a theme, dark or light. So if you don't like the dark mode, you can quite easily use light and vice versa. Furthermore, if we go into advanced settings, you will see that there is a show the home button option, which adds a home button to your navigation bar up here. So if you want to get home quite easily, you can absolutely do so. Furthermore, if you come up to the right here, you can see that the hub area, I think this is called. Yes, the hub icon has changed as has uh, the feedback icon. This isn't actually feedback at all. This is the share charm. So feedback has been moved into the ellipsis menu and swapped with share. So you can now easily share websites from the address bar. Uh, without having to go into the ellipsis menu and finding it manually, which is pretty great. Uh, a number of performance uh, enhancements with Edge as well, so you'll have a much smoother browsing experience when using this build. And apart from that, that's pretty much it for Microsoft Edge. Moving right along, this build has a number of UX improvements. So let's start with Win32 apps uh, versus non-Win32 apps. So oh, let's open up uh, these two apps. You can see here that title bars are the same now. Uh, in size at least. So you can see here on the Win32 File Explorer, it's now the same thickness, uh, the con window controls are the same thickness as it is in Microsoft Edge. And that's the case with most Win32 apps. When you full screen a Win32 app, however, it does go back to the normal, uh, you know, thinner window control size, unlike Win32 apps, uh, sorry, unlike modern apps, which don't, they still keep their full win window control size, but it's still a start, Win32 apps having the same size when not in full screen is definitely a good thing. Uh, let's see what else is new. Updates to Cortana. So Cortana has been cleaned up in this build. Uh, all of her options are no longer hanging from the left hand menu. They're now buried in her notebook as you see here. Eat and drink, events, finance, getting around, movies and TVs, music, news, sports, travel and weather. They're all here just all in the notebook. Of course you can still change a number of settings, you can make Cortana, you can enable Hey Cortana, and you can now uh, make Cortana respond to either everybody or just you. So if you make Cortana learn your voice, you will then, when you say Hey Cortana, it will only answer to you and nobody else. So if we set that up, let's give me six, actually it's not set up because I've actually got the microphone set up to do so. Of course, our tidbits. So uh, every now and then Cortana's search box on the um, on the start on the sorry taskbar will like come up and say hello i'm here would you, would you like me to do anything and if you don't like it you can turn it off but it's not really intrusive it doesn't it doesn't actually pop cortana up not from what i've experienced at least it just in the search box down here she just says a couple of things like hello i can do this if you want and so on and so on so if you really don't like that you can absolutely turn them off in the settings app and i can't seem to get to settings now it keeps crashing which is a shame there's another bloody train coming. Now, another change in this build is the fact that Cortana appears to be appearing for no reason. Go away, Cortana. Uh, that the Insider Hub is no longer available. So if we go into... Uh, sorry, the way to get this back is fairly simple. If you go into Settings, System, Apps and Features, uh, Manage Optional Features and Add a Feature, you will see here that the Insider Hub is waiting for you to re-enable it. The reason it's not enabled by, it's not installed by default is that the RTM is coming up and the millions of people who are going to upgrade on July 29th are most likely not Windows Insiders. So for the small amount of people who are Windows Insiders, you can install it via this menu here whenever you find it. Uh, uh, Insider Hub, there it is. So if we click on that and click on Install, you'll notice here that it disappears and it's now installing here. Give it just a second, and hopefully, when we are done uh, downloading and installing, it should now be in the start menu. So let's see here, inside hub, there it is. The inside hub is now back, and you can now check all your achievements and quests and other stuff, which is pretty fantastic. 
This build also works great on the Surface Pro 3. Uh, sorry, and on the Surface Pro 3 and the Surface 3, because the public preview build did not, so it's good to see the build is finally working on Microsoft's own devices. Now, if we enable tablet mode, there's a number of improvements done in tablet mode. So the overall tablet experience is vastly improved. Uh, but down in the bottom left now, you get quick access to your apps list and power options, much like you do in Windows 8.1. So you can just quickly access them without having to go into the hamburger menu. But if you do like going into the hamburger menu, you can now simply swipe up and get straight to the apps list without having to press the button, which is pretty great. Uh, if we open up a couple apps, just using apps is a lot more better now as well. So if we go into Edge and Mail, we can rather obviously do a number of Windows 8 tablet mode experiences such as snapping apps and adjusting them to different sizes. You can also close them both by swiping down, which is pretty great. You may notice that the back button on the taskbar is present and this back button now works like it does on Windows Phone 8.1. So if we hold it, you get access to your multitask, which where you can actually close apps. And of course, if you have an app open and you press back, it takes you back to the start screen. It doesn't actually close the app. As you can see here, the app is still actually open. Oh, I can't actually get open now. So the app is still open there, but uh, the way to close it is obviously to swipe down, much like you do on Windows 8.1. Uh, I will be doing a video uh, of the entire Windows 10 tablet experience closer to RTM, I'll probably use the RTM build. Uh, so I was I said I was going to do it in the last video, but I didn't because I decided that I was actually going to wait for RTM to do it. But yes, I've seen many people complaining about tablet mode on Windows 10, and I'm, I'm going to try and show you how Windows 10 tablet mode is in fact better than the Windows 8.1 tablet experience. So yeah, so um, I think that may be it. Oh, the snipping tool has been updated. Uh, you may have noticed that I'm just going through a bunch of changes that I've shown in previous builds, and that's because this is an official build. And with the official build, I kind of do a recap of all the changes that have happened since through the leaked builds and so on. So there's now a delay option here, which is pretty great. It allows you to delay up to five seconds. Uh, so if you want to like get a snip of a thing that doesn't show up straight away, you can absolutely do so with this app. The Photos app did indeed get updated. It now supports GIFs and it's now a lot faster and albums are working and everything and, and it's all great. This is version, what version is it? 15.618.18.17.0.0. So yes, everything is starting to look pretty good on Windows 10. Let's close you out. Uh, Cortana is now integrated with Office 365, but that's not really, uh, I mean, this is build specific, but I need Office 365 stuff and I don't have that installed right now. Uh, you can obviously, with Cortana, which I didn't show, you can email people, so... Email James. Who's the email going to? Alright, well, since I don't have any contacts on this new account, I can't actually email anybody. But yes, you can actually send emails with Cortana now, and so on. Let's come out tablet mode here. Oh, if we actually take a look at the notification centre, you'll see down here that there is an option to... Uh, Take notes easily. Clicking on it will rather obviously open one note and just take you to your quick notes so you can easily take notes down. Pretty great if you are someone who likes to take notes. Uh, now, battery saver. Battery saver is indeed working properly now. So if I turn it on, it will, you know, lower my brightness and monitor background tasks and other stuff, which is pretty great. And I think that may be it for this build. If I haven't talked about uh, the store app, the store app is no longer in bit beta as you see here the navigation bar at the top is no longer thick as well the back button is in the actual title bar which is pretty great the app looks a lot better as well a lot nicer and a lot more polished which is pretty great uh that may be it for this builder i believe that is so uh this this is highly this not highly likely this is this could very well be the final build we insiders get before rtm which is expected to happen within the next couple of weeks. Um, it may not be, we may get another build next week. Uh, if so, I'll rather obviously be doing a build, uh, build video, but if not, uh, then I guess I'll see you all with the RTM build. So uh, thanks so much for watching these videos, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.